when you when I got to that point, I was like, I got to make this run. Every run I have, it has to be a meaningful run. It has to make a difference in the game. So that's 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 where I'm at with my mindset right now. What's one thing that we can expect out of this group next year? Excuse me, this year. You will expect a lot of effort. We're going to give everything we've got. This it, Coach P has said that this is one of the best condi conditioned teams, and I, I believe that. We we've been really working this summer. You know, we know who we got the first game, so we have to step up our game, and you know, we have to get it. Good luck, bro. What's the competition it? like at running back now? Competition is pretty tough. Uh, we got a lot of fast guys. We got guys who are strong like Tobias. So you look at Tobias and like, wow, he plays running back. So, uh, you know, our, our, our group is very versatile and uh, we can do a lot of things. Coach, you said that the run defense needs to improve and that's been a big emphasis. What have you seen from those guys going into that? Have you seen well, yesterday, they, they were the defense was on us. They, they were fast to the ball, running to the ball. So today we have to pick that up and the next day. I'm glad the defense did that so they can show us that they we're not to where we need to be right now. We, need to st we still have room to improve and uh, that's what we're going to do. Last year, over you know, the last two years, you know, the, Lamar did a lot of the, the running. Um, what are you guys looking at this year? Are you trying to kind of pick That up? is true. Lamar did do a lot of the running. Yeah. But uh, in practice, the running backs run a lot as well. Uh, and, and, and now this year we're going to be able to see what we can do. And, the, and we're just going to run till we just can't run no more. So we're just going to run. <laughs> we're going to touch that. We're just going to run. That's just what we do. We're running backs. We're going to run. What is your? What do you bring to the table? You think as far as your bring, style? And so forth? I bring leadership uh, as far as football. I think I bring you know experience of being in the offense and knowing where the holes are going to be, uh, knowing my blockers and knowing their style of blocking and who's going to you know. I know if Makai's coming around on the pool, I know he's going to knock that guy out the hole and I'm going to have a hole right there. So and that's that's just with anybody on the whole old line. So. We have a strong old line. So. I came up a little bit late, but you were mm -hmm. talk, talking about, I guess, um, in being injured and not getting to mm -hmm. play as much and so on and so forth. So trying to make up for lost time a little bit, I guess. Yes, sir, yeah. definitely, definitely. I mean, injuries is part of the game. Uh, you just have to fight through them. You, you can't just, you know, get hurt and just think, oh, I'm going to take this day off. You have to constantly keep working and rehabbing and, and just try to better yourself. Yeah. You're starting at the top this year. You're playing Alabama the first game, defending national champ. They've won like four titles in the last seven or eight years. What do you think of when you think of Alabama football defense? Alabama is a great program. They have a great coach. I remember uh, watching my dad play with, with the Jaguars. They were playing the Dolphins, and I, I remember seeing Nick Saban. He was, I'm like, wow, it's Nick Saban. That's Ricky Williams running all over our defense. So, <laughs> so, uh, so finally being able to play against Coach Saban in Alabama, it's, it's a privilege, and uh, I'm just really blessed to be in this position, and uh, I'm, I'm ready to take advantage of the opportunities that are being provided. They have their own reality show on ESPN right now. Have you been able to watch any of it? Uh, I haven't been able to watch any of it. I've, I've been trying to do as much research on Alabama as I possibly can, watching YouTube videos, seeing personalities, you know, just trying to, you know, gain the edge on them just because we need every edge to be able to beat a defending national championship team. So I'm just trying to do the best I can to prepare myself. Have you gained your... any edges you can share? Uh, if I did, I'm not going to share it. So, uh, I'm going to need that for the game, but uh, you, you will definitely see game day. So I'm just going to keep that to myself right now. How's, how do you feel about Wouldn't you rather have an easier opener than Alabama, or how do you feel no, about that? I, I would not. This, this is what you dream for when you come to college. This, this is why I came to Louisville. This is why I wanted Coach Trina to be my coach, because I know he's going to come out aggressive, and I know we're going to play the top team. So this is, this is the best you can get. I guess if you play against them, I'm sure you can play. Yes, sir. Yeah, and, and it's a great confidence booster because once you, because you, you instantly probably going to get better playing against Alabama because that's the no top, matter top what, of the you chain. Mean, no, win or lose. No matter. I mean, what? Well, well, I'm trying to win. So <laughs> there, there is no lose. There is no win or lose. I'm trying to win. So <laughs> to take losing out of the out of the, yeah, the proportion. Yes, sir. So. You were talking about uh, following McKay coming out pulling and mm. and you knew he was going to hit some. So if you, when you play behind like a good offensive line, like you hope you got. Yes, sir. You kind of wait for something to happen in front of you. Am I right about uh, that? You kind of look for well, it. Well, not wait. You just have to let the, the play to develop, and you just have to know the play in and out and how it's being blocked, and you got to just know when to hit it. If you just can't run full speed and outrun them, you can't go too slow, and you might miss the hole. So you just got to time it up perfectly. 
So when you got a good offensive line, you can anticipate it's going to happen next. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, just, just with any offensive line, you just got to have the will to go do it. It, no, it doesn't matter if you're good or bad. If you're, you're bad, if you got the effort, you can get through the line regardless. So we just got to provide that effort, you know, just try to win the game. Just get down the field as fast as possible. What do you say your mindset is going in? My mindset is just strictly just eliminating any errors during the game, just trying to be have – no excitement errors and just just run till I just can't run anymore. <laughs> run, <laughs> run. Has Coach Petrino talked to you guys about it? Is he looking for one guy to kind of take over the backfield? Is he looking to rotate guys in and, and play who's got the hot hand? Well, we have a lot of athletic running backs in our stable, so it's it's it, it could easily go you know me and then Colin and Dave. You can see Dave, Colin, me. So it, it's just a lot of. Versatile, you can see Tobias in there. We're just a versatile group, and we all bring something different to the table. So you can see a lot of different things. you think of yourself as a patient runner? I look at myself as a balanced runner. I, I do. I know some people will say, I may not have the speed for it, but sometimes it's not all about speed. Sometimes you need to be patient to hit the hole. Sometimes you do need to get that extra oomph to get through that hole. So uh, I think it's just it's dependent on the play. So you just got to really know and understand what you're doing out there. Do you get much advice from your dad? I get a lot of advice from my dad. I mean, why not? Because he's been there before. So why not listen to him? So What are, what are some of the things you can remember that he has told you that you think about? Uh, well, it's... We play two different positions, so like right, it's, it's right. not much we can really, you know, besides sure. effort. But uh, I mean, just I mean, I've talked to Fred Taylor. Maybe yeah, yeah so and, and he's given me a, a good couple pointers the last couple times I talked to him. So I mean, I, I'm just trying to, you know, just be a, a cushion, just absorb all the information I can get from the from the greats and the legends, and hopefully it'll help me out in them. What was the uh... Fred Taylor advice. Fred Taylor, he told me just to always keep your pads square, you know, keep, you know, do type of stretches that will keep your hips loose and just help you be a more explosive running back. Uh, we talked about different types of reads on different plays, so he, he, he helped me a lot that time we talked. Mm -hmm. I was, has he seen you play? He has seen me play, he has yeah. seen me play. So was this advice that he gave you after a game or? Uh, I think it was after... A spring game, I want to say, yeah. Yeah, after a spring game, I think, last year. I would assume your dad, when he talked to you, it's more about the mental part of it? Yeah, so, yeah the did, mental part. Yeah, my dad helps me out with the mental part. Of it. Just, you know, he went through it, so you just got to, you know, keep your head down, keep working, watch film, watch watch what guys like Ezekiel Elliott are doing, watch how they're hitting holes. So that, that's just really helped me out. I spent pretty much the whole summer just watching different running backs from Leonard Fournette. Oh, did just, just just trying to figure out another edge to really help me get over to be a better player. Pro running back? Yes, sir. Pro running back, yes, sir. What kind of opportunity do you see for, for the running backs to really define the Falcons now? Yes, a lot of people don't know the experience. We, we don't have that much experience in the running back position, but uh, that's, that's about to change. Uh, People are saying that we're not experienced, so that's going to hurt us. But we, we we know what we got, so we're just going to you know do what we know and just make the best. Okay.